Can I help you, sir? Perhaps you'd like me to give you lessons. Please don't feel ashamed. Many adults don't know how to read or write, especially a certain kind of man, if you know what I mean. <laughs> But those men aren't really interested in learning, are they? I guess not. Well, then, please don't disturb us. Thank you. I. You? I'm looking for. You're looking for. A brat. A boy. With a name, right? Fenimore. I'm called Fenimore Fillmore. Could you be more stupid? I meant the child. Oh, him? He's called Billy. Billy? Billy, what have you done? Come out right now. Rhiannon, what are you doing with these no good farm rats? I told you that Floyd Random is paying us a visit today. I'm no interest in him. He has the style and manners of a pig. All he ever thinks about is cows, land, and money. Which is all a man should be thinking of, aside from his wife and family. A man should long to be free and respect the freedom of others. Don't be ridiculous. You sound like those brazen farmers that fence off my land and stop my cattle from grazing. This guy here must be new, but I'll get rid of him just like I did the others. You won't be able to get rid of them all. One will rise up to become a leader, a stout free man who will unite them in their struggle against oppression, someone neither you nor any of your gunmen could deal with. <laughs> That's so. Then they won't need your services as a teacher no more. They'll do just fine when this free man of yours arrives. Come with me. No, Uncle. I'm not going to suck up to that pig Floyd just because you tell me to. Right. You and you. Huh? Hey, take your hands off her. Let her go. Are you all right, miss? You're not the farmer my uncle thought you were. You're a wicked gunfighter, thinking you can solve everything by using your guns. I'll bet. Well, I'll have you know. No! No! Look what you've done, Billy. By taking his guns off him. Little girl? I'm not little. I'm seven. Wow, that's old. Don't exaggerate. What's your name? Annie Jones. Do you know where Billy is? Billy and Tommy are in their secret hideout. They took fright and hid. Where's Billy's secret hideout? I don't know. They won't let me go there because I'm a girl. 
What's Billy scared of? Of you. Of me? Yes. He took away your guns, didn't he? Well, yes. And you're not mad at him? A little, perhaps, yes. He thinks you're going to beat him or something worse. Of course I'm not. I... Well, that's why he's hiding from you. You have a nice dog. He's called Toby, and he's a good tracker. Could your dog track down Billy? Of course, if you have something that Billy's worn. Can I use your dog to do some tracking? What's in it for me if I let you use Toby? Whatever you want. A portrait of Jesse James. Okay, you shall have it. I want you to ask about your teacher. Miss Rhiannon? Where does she live? At her uncle's ranch, Mr. Sterricks. Is she a good teacher? She sometimes sets too much homework, but she's very nice. What homework did she give you today? She didn't have time to give us any homework, thanks to you. I'm sorry. No, really, thank you. Does she have a boyfriend? Not you too. I knew it. What? You've fallen in love with Miss Rhiannon. Of course not. Oh, yes. No? Oh, no? You know something? You're right. I do like her. Well, she has no boyfriend if you happen to be interested. Though she sometimes talks about her dreams of finding Prince Charming. Prince Charming? You know, the perfect man. Ah, yes. What would your perfect man, Prince Charming, uh, be like? Let me see. I guess he'd be like, like Jesse. Jesse? Jesse James, of course. Oh, right. So long. Listen, you. Hmm? Stop following me everywhere. I'm not following anyone, stranger. What do you want, stranger? My name is Fillmore. Fenimore Fillmore. Sheriff Slocum, how can I help you? Can I talk to the prisoner? No, he's been placed in solitary confinement. He's accused of stealing Mr. Starrick's cattle. This Starrick, is he the owner of the town? Not exactly. The town was founded by his late brother, Roderick Starrick, who was murdered. How was Roderick Starrick killed? Twenty years ago this winter. Someone shot him in the back. We never found out who. Did you investigate Roderick's murder? No, that was down to the previous sheriff. I was deputy back then. I learned a lot from him. 
What did you learn from the previous sheriff? How to collect evidence and classify it. To observe and analyze the situation, take notes. Find clues and conduct a thorough investigation. Did Mr. Sterrick inherit anything from his murdered brother? Not directly. Roderick's heir is his daughter, Rhiannon. But she was very young when her father was murdered. So John Sterrick stepped in to run the ranch. Rhiannon will inherit it all when she's 25, when she comes of age. Were there no suspects for Roderick's murder? The last sheriff had a suspect, but he was unable to confirm his guilt and he never said who it was. There's a guy who keeps following me around town. That's Shorty. It's his job to keep an eye on farmers and strangers. Does he work for you? No, he's in the pay of Mr. Starrick. It seems like Starrick has bought off the whole town. Sir, I'll have you know that I'm an independent authority. Mr. Starrick has never bribed me. He simply pays my salary each month. Sorry, I really need to go. There isn't one in here. You might try over in the saloon. Psst, friend. What's up? Who are you? My name is Tom Postum. Postum? Postum? That doesn't ring any bells with me. I'm hardly Jesse James. What are you doing in there? Isn't it obvious I'm in jail? I'd like to check my facts. Why did they put you away? I've been accused of stealing Sterick's cattle. But it was all a setup. Sterick set a trap for me. How many years did you get? They haven't tried me yet. Though I guess I'll be sentenced to hang. Cattle stealing's a pretty serious crime around here. When will they hear your case? When a commissioner arrives to take me to the Capitol, the sheriff is waiting for a telegram from him. I guess you've got problems with Sterrick, too. What gave you that idea? They only threw me in jail and then burned down my farmstead. And now they want to hang me. So, you're not a criminal? Of course not. I'm an honorable farmer, though with a shady past, I have to admit. What do you mean by shady past? I was a forger once. Really? The best this side of the Picos. And what did you forge? Signatures? I could forge any signature. Do you know Joe Bannister? Yes, been friends since way back. Our sons are friends, too. Billy and Tommy are as thick as thieves. I think someone's coming. Don't let anyone see you talking to me. Walk off whistling, as though you were just passing by. Howdy, stranger. Hi there. There's not much of an atmosphere in here. The occasional cowboy comes in for a drink, but it really fills up at the start of each month. That's when Sterrick's men get paid and spend all their wages. This place ends up looking like a heap of firewood, but the boss sees me right. I'm looking for someone. Well, this isn't a tourist information office or a missing persons bureau. We just serve food and drink here, stranger. I need somebody tough for a risky job. What kind of job? 
standing up to Steric. Folk round here don't want that type of work. Only cowards live in this town, then? We prefer to think of ourselves as sane, stranger. You best say no more if you want to avoid trouble. I have to go. I have to stay here. Where are you off to, mister? I just wanted to have a look round. There's only three rooms upstairs, all of them taken. But if you want a bath... I'll take a bath, yes. That's three dollars, in advance. Okay, here's your three dollars. Here's a bathroom key. You can leave it in the lock. I'd rather not. Well, a client? Can I help you? Not me. I feel fine. That's obvious, young man. It's clear that you're a healthy fellow. You have the eyes of a hawk, and you're as strong as a horse. Enough. At least strong enough to pull a tooth out. To pull a tooth out? That's right, my young friend. To pull a tooth out. But I... You'll need to find just the right instruments and a good sedative for the pain. Listen a moment. What is it? Who needs a tooth taken out? That would be me, young man. You? It's painful and I can't take it out myself. What do I need to take out the tooth? You just need some good pliers, and very important, a good whiskey to ease the pain. Triple X, if possible. Why does every doctor in the West drink so much? I drink to forget. Forget what? I don't know. I've forgotten already. How long have you been in this town? That's one of the things I've forgotten. Maybe three or four years. That man in the portrait on your desk. You recognize him, don't you? Of course. Jesse was my first patient as a doctor. Jesse James? Jesse Woodson James. That's right. He was a boy back then, with a broken arm. Could you let me have the Jesse James portrait? I'm not potting with that portrait. Jesse dedicated it to me personally. Please. No. Please. No way. The portrait in return for taking your tooth out. My young friend, you are a blackmailer. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Right you are. Blackmailer.
Hello again. How can I help you? Do you have triple X whiskey? Why, yes. Do you want soda with it? How much is a whole bottle? Is it for the dock? Right. Twelve dollars. Give me it. 